Welcome, everyone, to Light Source Engraving. I am your host, Patrick, and I thank you for joining me. Today, we'll, we will be doing an unboxing. I will be using a different unboxing knife today. This one was engraved in my latest video. Let's get high and engrave a machete. So let's begin. So let's get high and engrave a machete. It is not about any illegal substances. So check that video out. All right. Outer box is opened. Now, inner box, just give it a little slice. And there we go. Ah, oh, that's in there tight. All right, so what do we have in this box today? Another beautiful package from Rolly Automation. In, in this package, we have a power adapter. Additional exhaust ducting. We still have our practice material box and important material box. Oops. Because this is the 30 watt module and the way it's still packaged, it comes in as it's box two of two if you actually order the 30 watt. So now when we turn that over, here we have the 30 watt module. which is switchable between 10 watt and 30 watt. And then we also have our air assist pump. So by getting this 30 watt module, we'll just have to do a quick swap on the Lasermatic and it will be good to go. Let's get a tighter shot. So we have the 30 watt module, our air assist hookup, mounting points, switch between 30 watt and 10 watt. Here's where our power supply plugs in. Then here's the underside of the module. And just like that, we will be ready to upgrade from 20 watt to 30 watt. What I'm going to do first is run a few tests with the 20 watt and try to cut some probably one inch oak. And then I'm going to also try to cut that same one inch oak with the 30 watt module and see if one or both or none can make it through just to see if we can tell a difference. Here we are completing 15 passes at 200 millimeters per minute. And after 10 passes, it still was not through. It was getting close. So we'll keep an eye on this and see how many it takes to get through. This is with the 20 watt module. So it took 15 passes and we have a not very straight cut and this little kind of chart on the bottom. So yeah, it was tough getting through that. Oak and 15 passes. So let's do a couple more cutting tests and then we can compare the 20 versus the 30. Next up, we have some one inch rough cut Poplar. It is a full one inch thick. I'll run this in multiples of five passes as well. And we'll see how it does. Yeah. 
Alright, 15 passes did not make it all the way through. However, it is almost there. So 15 passes with the 20 watt almost made it through this one inch puffer. The Creality Falcon 40 watt did cut through this with six passes at 200 millimeters per minute. Uh, so to compare, this is 15 passes and we almost made it through. All right, and here we're gonna run a penetration test. I have all that plywood there screwed together. I haven't measured it. I don't know exactly how thick that whole block is, but that doesn't matter. I'll measure it afterwards, but here we go. Let's run five passes and see what it looks like. You can see at the bottom where that beam starts to get out of focus. So what's limiting our penetration here is going to be the focus of the laser beam, not necessarily the power. And of course that will happen with any laser, not just the lasermatic. And as that beam spreads out towards the bottom of its focal range, we're going to have less penetration and more burning and charring and deformation of the cut. So after five passes, I don't think it's going to get much deeper. It might a little bit, but I think we're going to be about at our limit. And that was able to cut through 12 millimeters of plywood. And that wraps it up for cutting tests with the 20 watt laser. Let's install the 30 watt module now. All right, now we are ready to switch to our 30 watt module. So I'm going to remove the honeycomb. This will be a good opportunity to clean the junk out from under the honeycomb. Then I'll remove the bottom screws first. I'm just going to work my way up. So bottom screws, then air assist hose. Then our power cable. Then we have our top two screws. So just hold on to the module while you're taking that last screw out. Once you have the last screw out, then the module detaches and we are ready to install the 30 watt. The, the 20 and the 30 side by side. They are the same size, so we won't have to make any offset adjustments. My 20 watt module has gotten quite dirty since I uh, last cleaned it, so I will be taking this apart and cleaning it and getting it, getting it ready to go again. So then for the 30 watt module, I'm just gonna do the same thing in reverse, Re work my way down. So top screws first. And snug the top ones down all the way. And that's it. 30 watt module is installed. And just like that, we have our 30 watt laser module. Make that sure that's flipped up on 30 watts. Turn it on. Our 30 watt module is installed and ready for its first test. So let's see how it does with the plywood challenge.
So here we go with five passes around to see how deep it will cut through these sandwich pieces of plywood. Okay, folks, there's our difference between the 20 watt and the 30 watt. Uh, it is a much bigger difference than what I had imagined. So the 20 watt made it through 12.73 millimeters of plywood. The 30 watt made it through 18.72 millimeters of plywood. I am very surprised. That is a significant difference, in my opinion. Okay, well, let's try the oak and the poplar and see what happens. Okay, here we go with the poplar. I'm gonna run five passes and see where we're at. All right, folks, I stopped that test. I stopped the test uh, after three passes. It made it, the 30 watt made it through in three passes. The 20 watt did not make it through in 15 passes. The 30 watt made it through in three. There is a big difference there. I'm gonna set this to three passes and run it again, just so we can see if three was indeed the number. And we'll just do that in real time. Here we go, we're just on three passes. So there's one. It looks like number two is already through based on the smoke coming up from the bottom. There's two. Definitely through and three. Yep, three passes. Three passes to get through one inch thick poplar. Let's try the oak. All right, three passes for oak. Three passes for oak as well. So this is three quarter inch oak, three passes. If you are looking for cutting power, three passes and it cut this oak nice and straight. That's actually not too bad as far as the first test, as you can see through there. Three passes oak, three passes plywood. Now the only thing to check is the difference in engraving. Um, hopefully can engrave the same results at a little faster speed, but we'll save that for another video. This is just comparing cutting. One thing I do want to mention, comparing the 20 watt module versus the 30 watt module, the 30 watts nozzle is down a little bit further, so you will lose a little bit of height clearance. Um, that's why you have the removable bed with the Z-axis extension included in your Lasermatic stock hardware kit so you can adjust as necessary. So if you have those taller tumblers, then you can just drop the bed out and use your rotary underneath the 30 watt module, even with a longer nozzle. But that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. And again, everybody just have a great day. Thank you.